but we worked very hard on this to really try to give you a, a really clear picture of uh, this thing that's emerging, which uh, our group and our colleagues believe we are on the tail, we're chasing the tail of the first end-to-end -end testable hypothesis for how life can begin on the Earth, or might have begun. We'll never know exactly how it begun, but we're on, we've caught the tail of something. Consider this when you think that AI is gonna get up and, and uh, conquer the world. <laughs> You, you just have to, if, if AI threatens us, if Terminator 9000 is coming through the portal to get us all, all you have to do is, is wait for the log file to fill up with errors, <laughs> and it'll go down. <laughs> so we'll be saved at the last minute. I'm going to recommend that to Arnold for the next film. So I'm going to take on not one but three hard questions, but they're fascinating ones. Uh, which were addressed by the previous three speakers. How did, the, how did non living matter become animated into the living world? Very careful selection of wording there. What does a plausible, testable model of the origin of life teach us about the origin and nature of consciousness? Because when Stuart invited me to speak at the last TSC, I thought, I have no idea about consciousness. I've never cracked a book open about consciousness. And it seems like a big, complicated subject to take on. It's like too big. It's like being in a forest and deciding, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll study forest ecology. Well, you're surrounded by trees, and you just can't see the, the forest ecology because you can't see the river and the, the highlands and the lowlands. You're just surrounded by it. 